Um, as you guys know, I told you a little bit about my story with uh, losing my dad <clears throat> last year in February, and then losing my brother two months later in April. Um, of course, it was pretty tough, and it's not like I was very positive right from the beginning. Half tree. This is Didi, an ordinary 35 year old with an extraordinary other world affliction. Didi has been forced to live all his adult life with gnarled roots sprouting from his hands and feet. Sacked from his job, deserted by his wife, the Indonesian lives a life of poverty and pain. Every, every day, my brother and my dad, my little every day. makes me do this like just I just want to wake up from that thought I got to deal with this I asked the doctors tell me how I'm gonna beat this and it was so hard man I thought to myself I, you know I can't go on the go on the soccer field like everybody else and I can't ride my bike and I can't skateboard and all these sort of things I, I dream of probably three times a week it, it does happen right right when the incidents happen you will have so much questions in your head why me? <laughs> That's the very first question. Why us? I've, like, you know, I've never expected this to happen to me. Of course, it would be broken at that. But now, from afar, comes a measure of hope. A doctor in the United States is offering to attempt a treatment for the horn-like growths that have ruined Dee's life. You gotta take your meds. Okay, cool. You gotta have a positive attitude. Okay, I can do that. And you gotta work out. So you tell me if I do those three things, I, I, I'll be here for a long time. There are some things in life that are out of your control that you can't change and you got to live with. Of course it was tough and, and, it hit, and it hit me very hard, but you know, I could not let that go on forever. Um, and it didn't take too long for me to be positive because to me I felt like I had the responsibility to, to stay strong. For, not just for myself, but also for my family who were around me. The choice that we have, though, is either to give up or keep on going. Uh, I'm not a guy who gives up or feels sorry for himself. He's been described as half man and half tree, but the good news for Didi is that now the man half is winning the battle. <laughs> don't stay put. You know, don't just stay and think about you know, what makes you depressed or what makes you angry. If you think you have a situation, go out and solve it. I'm a winner, man. I win. Something as simple as eating a banana used to be beyond Didi, but thanks to his doctors, he's now able to enjoy a few more of life's little comforts. One, two, look at that! There's so much things that you can do. Do not try to limit yourself to how you could make yourself happy or how you can contribute. Really, go out. Volunteer, join a club a lot. You know, you have to get yourself out there. Nobody's gonna pull you out of the you know, pull you out of your state and help you. You have to like work for it. You gotta work very hard for it. Three on the way. Go! Jubilation in Newark! You are not the fire. <laughs>